Hi guys, Messy Coder here, welcome to another Ultimate Survival Tutorial and in this video we're playing with the Easy Build System. That's right, we're going to learn how to use a different build system inside Ultimate Survival, actually, which to be honest is a lot better than the one that you get with Ultimate Survival to begin with. It's a lot more functionality, it even has funky things like upgrading your, let's upgrade this for, upgrading and also repairing as well. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you guys in a second. Hi everyone, we're inside Unity. I've put the Easy Build System and Ultimate Survival in a fresh project. Inside the Easy Build System folder, you're going to find this Easy Build System Demos and Integrations. And this is, as you can see down here, a Unity package. Let's just double click that. And preparing and installing, uh, importing our demos and integrations. I'll see you guys in a second because this is really dull. Okay guys, that was fun. Now we're going to go into the Easy Build System Integrations Demos folder. And let's find the Ultimate Survival one. That's for us. So if you're doing anything else, you can find like in Pro, Opsivs, Pro on Unit. We want this one. Double click it again and import it again. That one should be a lot quicker. There you go. That was magic. Now we go up to Tools, Easy Build Systems, and go to Main Editor, get Integrations. You'll find all oh, Winter by Ultimate Survival. Tick it, make sure it's ticked, jobs are good and oh look, they've got a voxel land one as well. Let's close that. And now let's go into our ultimate survival forest. So let's go scenes forest. I've loaded in the forest demo scene now. We go up to tools, easy build system, click on utilities, and click on quick start. And we'll see. Um, there's a console telling us that all layers were properly loaded and end of quick start process was successfully um, full stop. Okay, we go over to here and just to check, click check layers. Yep, tells me that they were. One thing you got to see is make sure you click on untagged, you know, the tags up here and look to make sure you got ladders and all your tags loaded in. Cool, they are there. If you don't see ladder, then it looks like it hasn't loaded in your tags. So um, I've had that problem with an existing project. So I'm doing this in a clean project and it looks like everything is okay. Let's open up manager settings here. Make sure you tick the use terrain. Click on the little circle thing or you can click on there and select the ultimate survival build collection. Now we're going to open up in-game GUI, canvas, windows, where are you windows? And we're going to find our build menu, building menu, and let's dis disable them. We don't need them. Go to projects, go to the integrations folder of easy build system, find your ultimate survival, find your prefabs, and drag in this prefab, this easy build prefab. I'm going to put them underneath the build one. There he is. Easy build menu, building menu. Now let's pop over to mail player, open him up, look root world camera route and there's our world camera and you see now we've got base builder example script I'll open him up and you can see magic easy build system a little bit cropped on mine let's just open him up a little bit so you can see better okay now we've got um, base settings here see this root transform drag your player into the root transform the world camera should already be the world camera but let's just put him in and turn off use creative mode so you haven't got unlimited resources and you can just build whatever you want. We go down to default layout. I'm going to put nothing and then I'm going to click default and socket. So make sure you just got default and socket. And down into mode settings, make sure you get reset mode after placement and reset mode after destruction ticked. So for this, uh, we're pretty much done. Let's minimize that. And I'm going to also want to just make sure that you should have an additional script here. We don't, so let's click add. And we go to here, demo, basic interaction. And this allows us to 
basically interact with things. Kind of like you do with Ultimate Survival when you click E and you open doors or pick stuff up, it's the same kind of thing. So it can tell it to use the same key would make sense. So it's in E, this is how far away. Now layers, this is important. So I've got here nothing. And if I go over to the upgradable folder, which you get with Easy Build System, where all of their Ultimate Survival objects, their buildable items that they give you default out of the box are hiding. So go in there and we find the door. And you see here we've got the door and the door is a building piece. We don't care about that, to be honest. We want the pivot. So you click on its pivot and you see it's got a layer default. It's got its box collider and it's got the door demo door interaction script. Make a note of this. We're going to come back to this later because there's a bug about this. I won't tell you what the bug is. I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. So now we go back into our world camera. And remember it was default the layers. Now I'm going to put this to default as well. I'm not too sure if it should be default and socket the same way that the base builder example was. So remember here in base settings, default layers, we had default and socket. Should it be default and socket? I don't know. You, can, um, This is the first time I'm really playing about with it. So uh, I'm just putting on default and that way it actually will work when you try to open and close a door. And that's about it. That's a, I, think, I think that literally is it. So we can have a bit more fun. Let's go to our inventory controller. And we don't need the sleeping bag. Let's put stone and let's put 99 stone. Yeah, 99 stone, and we can start upgrading stuff as well. Um, now, do, 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 let's click play. See what happens. Okay, here's right click, and I've got, don't forget, I've got the blueprint equipped in my hands. Let's swap over. So you right click, nothing happens. Go back to blueprint, right click, and I've got the wheel. Now it's the EBS wheel, not the ultimate survival wheel. To be honest, I do prefer the EBS wheel to the ultimate survival one, it's very fluid. You know, a couple of weird little bits like the repair and upgrade I'll show you in a second. Let's go to put the foundations. I do like they've got the triangle foundations. Like in, you know, rust, very rust-like your triangle foundation. And you've got your square foundation. Let's put another triangle one over here. Let's make a little house. Hello chicken, there's a chicken over there. And let's put another foundation there. So. Let's go back and put our walls in place. Um, I'm going to put a wall here and a wall there. I don't have to. I don't like have to keep on clicking. Um, let's put a wall here and a window here. We're, not, we're having fun. We're having fun making ourselves this little house, little house on the prairie. Um, let's put another little window thing here. There we go. We've got light coming in, and let's put a doorway here and let's start putting i can't see any roofs look no roofs so we've got floors so let's put down some floor with ladder what's that oh look so you can get up to the roof um all right let's put that there let's put a triangly bit here and another triangly bit there and a flat bit here it's a little bit fiddly Let's put a ladder. Look at all this fun we're doing. We're having a lot of fun. Let's put a ladder. How do we put a ladder in? Can I put a ladder? Okay. Why can't I clamp a ladder on there? That's annoying. We've got a torch though. Let's put a torch there in that corner. Why can't I put a ladder on? You guys know how to put a ladder? It's not letting me. Oh, here we go. That's, well that's just weird because that is very weird so it's letting me put a ladder on where well it was here but my hole is there I can't climb up or do anything with it so it's a cosmetic ladder we've got a pretty cosmetic ladder but now let's start let's go back into here and do upgrade let's upgrade to rock you see the only thing is that you're looking at it and then you click it and it automatically upgrades it. So if you do it by accident you're like screwed. There is one thing that we forgot to do, we forgot to put the sound on 
hour. So everything's all silent. You can't really hear it. But when you're placing stuff down, you should have a nice little noise. Um, let me just control shift P and I'll show you where that is. So it's paused at the moment. So we haven't lost our lovely, we haven't lost our beautiful little house. Uh, I go world camera and I open up the base builder example, audio settings, and here's the audio source. So is that this one? No, we want the player, male player, I suppose. There you go. And placement sound, we would have uh, one or two. Let's put two. And then you'll have placement, placement, placement one, and placement two. And then we'll have a destruction sound. And we'll say destruction. Lovely. See? Isn't that nice. What's AOE settings? Use AOE. Area of interest. I don't know. Area of something. I haven't read any of the manuals for this, so don't expect me to teach you anything useful at this point. But yeah, I'm just glad that we've got to this where we are. Glad where we are at the moment, to be honest. So let's go back inside. There we go. Let's see now. We upgrade the floor. We've got a nice stone floor. Annoying thing is, though, I've got this stone wall, and if I click on the wood one, it goes back to being the wood one. And now, see this got here. If I upgrade this one to wood, so even that looks nice. And then I go to, there you go, it's back to stone. And now, if I go to, but still, look, the part of this has been upgraded. And it's still, even though it's upgraded, it's still using up my resources to upgrade it again. Let's pull it back to wood. It's a bit weird, isn't it? I mean, it should say this has already been upgraded. You can't upgrade it anymore. Or when you upgrade it from wood to stone, it goes, well, stone is now the highest level and you can't upgrade. Because it's not upgrading to wood if it's stone, is it? It's downgrading. Anyway, little little things like that you should be able to tweak and have fun in your own. Can we upgrade the, um, yeah, you like that. Let's upgrade. There you go. I'm going to upgrade this bit, not that one. That's odd. Come on. There we go. Finally managed to get it. So we go. We've upgraded those bits. We haven't got a door. Yeah, I can hear you screaming. Where's your door, Messi? Where's your door? Well, here's the door. Now, nice. We've got a door now. We've got a lovely house to live in. We've got a ladder in the wrong place and a hole in the roof. We've got some upgraded wood walls. We've got some upgraded stone and some of the just standard thatch, whatever that is, and we've got a little torch blaring away, and we've got, oh, they're, they're outside. So let's open the front door, see E to interact when I mouse over it, because we had this as the layer default, and we've got our script using the layer default. Push E, and go outside. Um, oh, hang on, let's just close the door. No, hang on, let's, yeah, let's close the door. Okay, let's go back inside. Oh! What happened there? Got smacked in the face with a door! And they cured you! Well, that's the bug. There's a surprise, surprise! You're dead! Your house wants to kill you! So yeah, it's an um, interesting bug. And the funny thing is that when I came across that bug, I emailed the guy from EBS last night, and within a few minutes he found what the bug was, and he fixed it and sent me a hotfix. And he's uploading that to the asset store, so hopefully the asset store should accept that as a fix very soon. Boom! Dead again. So uh, I'll put the link in the description below for you to download the hotfix, and I'll show you what to do with it now. Let's look, get out of this death trap house. So after you've downloaded the fixed script, you need to know where to stick it. And a quick way to find where to stick it is actually to go to your pivot on your door and click on that demo door interaction and it will find you the folder where it lives actually it lives in easy build system resources scripts and interactions but that's a very quick way of finding it you right click it and let's go into the explorer we'll delete this one and we'll replace it with the new one okay now i've replaced my script with the new one I need to go back to the door so let's go to the upgradable and here's the pivot and actually i need i found that you need to actually remove this so um remove and then add it again. So the demo door interaction, put that back to five. Otherwise your door won't actually open because if you multiply zero 
you know the speed to 0, then you're going to have zero, so your door won't move. So put something in there. Five. It's a bit fast, I think. Five, but yeah, good, good enough. We've got audio source. Oops, silly me. The audio source has to be the pivot itself. And we've got here the door sound, which would be door effects. Lovely. Okay. Let's go back into Killer House. Hang on, let me just save before everything explodes. Let's go back into Killer House. I just saved the the um, over the main one, so silly me. Um, and let's just do a very quick house this time. So there's our foundation, and here's a doorway, and let's put a door. There you go. Good enough for us to prove that our house might not kill us. E. Oh, we open that that way. E again. And this time it didn't kill us. But it gave us a little bit of a hop. That's what happens when a door doesn't kill you and it smacks you in the face. It knocks you back a little bit and it gives you a little bit of a hop. I'm not sure if we can edit that ourselves, but at least it doesn't kill you, so it's better than nothing. All right, guys, I was actually very impressed. Plus one for support for such a quick fix and good communication. Um, there was also a bit of an annoying thing that the interaction wasn't working when I imported in because it wasn't a it didn't have that of a script on it, and b you need to set the layers on it. So little tweaks, little little things. So hopefully you follow this tutorial. It should help you. Uh, like I say, it's not a tutorial on how to use the EBS and customize it and add your own custom platforms and walls and stuff. But we can always get to that later. What did you think, guys? Did you like this video? Did it help you? Are you going to click a like? Are you going to click a thumbs up? If you like these videos and you want to see more, don't be shy. Click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. Call up all your friends and neighbours. Clicking like and putting a comment in really does help get these videos promoted and up in the YouTube rankings. So I really do appreciate all your help. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. For some reason, that little magic bell doesn't seem to be notifying everyone anymore. So the best way to do it is just chuck on Twitter and follow me because I write some random stuff and I will tell you when a new video has been uploaded. So guys, till next time, if you do like it, click it. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.